No, I don't want to play again. Let's not. We're good. Okay. Now, I want to... Can I get up? No. Ah, I wanted that feather, but I don't think I can get it yet. I don't think I can get up there. Not, not easily, anyways. Anyways, let's go back over this bridge. Because I feel... Like there's... Hmm, okay. Give me a second here. Figure out where I want to go and what I want to do next. Whoops. Why do I feel like I left a feather down here at some point? I have a bad feeling that's going to come back to bite me. This is where things are going to get tricky. So after a while, I'm going to start to forget where, where I need to go. Hey kids, what can I get you? Er, one please. One tonic. So, I've already got all these tonics unlocked, I'm pretty sure, because I think they carry over from file to file. But basically, this here tonic will give you one special power in the game that just sticks around. And you can only equip one at a time. And I am going to equip Live Wire, which makes your power meter regenerate faster because I just like having my power meter <laughs> generate faster. It just feels way nicer to me. Anyways. There was something over here. That's Loud Thunder. Normally that wouldn't be a big deal, but if my power goes out, which happens a lot, may I point out, um, I'm in big trouble. Is this? Oh, okay. I don't even have to push that down. How much time do I? Oh, okay. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm stuck. Go. I didn't make that jump. I did not make that jump. Oh, that's the easy one, too. You suck. Okay. No, damn it. There were feathers up there, and I wanted to get them. But now that I don't have to try and get the... Oh, camera. There's a complaint about this game, and many others like it. Is the camera... You... What am I missing? What am I missing there? Is there another jump somewhere? Uh, yeah, the camera can be not your friend in open world games. Also, I have 30 feathers again, which is good. Personally, I don't find the camera too bad. As long as you don't try to glitch it out, which... Uh, Granted, I very well might end up doing that. Yeah, can we, okay. Oh, I missed. That works. <laughs> now, let's go back and... Come on, I can make that jump. Damn it, I can make that jump. Oh, you clever girl. Wait, this... That is the great thing about open world games is there's usually a way that you can get up spots that they don't necessarily make for you to get up. Now give me my last attack for this world. No, mm, yes, um, I want the buddy slam, which I think is actually a move for Digimon, if I remember correctly. Yes, so the buddy slam is your butt slam, essentially. Wish we are going. What the? Where did that guy come from and why is he here? 
Okay. Sure. You know, just let that one slide and come over here. And start hitting. Oh, this has a time limit? Where's the fish? That's the fish. What's the next? Thumb up. Obviously, you don't want to get caught in the thing. Where's the egg? And now I need waves at the top. Waves at the top. And go. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There we go, six. It's not a bad haul so far. And what else can we get? No, I can think of a couple others, actually. If we butt slam these. Hello up there, sniffling job letting in some light. So I can get my target challenge running. If you could address the other three blocked windows, that would be splendid. Which we are going to do. And then he is in that cave that I almost went into earlier. And we will deal with that mess. Beautiful. Capital work. Come inside and we'll arrange a sporting contest for a real prize. What ho? I don't know what the what ho is supposed to mean. That thunder and rain is really concerning. I mean, this video, video ends completely abruptly. You'll know my power when I... It's basically that simple. I just want to collect these feathers here. Good, good. So if we actually go into our totals here... Uh, not those totals. Not even those totals. Tribal Stack Tropics. We have 86 out of 200 feathers, 6 out of 25 pages. The Butterfly is a life extension. The Power Bar extension. There's a Molly Cool that I will get to later. And obviously your Play Coin. So there is one of those in every single level that you can get. And then obviously the pages and feathers. And collecting 200 feathers actually gets you a pagey, which I did not know for the longest time. So just a little heads up on that one. Good day, strapping adventurers. Splendid day for a hunt. What not? Whoa, aren't you supposed to talk simple or run straight at us? Like those Neanderthals in ivory towers? Absolutely not. I'll have you know that I'm the most aristocratic character in this game. Not likely. There's a guy with a huge ice palace in the next world. He must be loaded. Thanks for clearing the window we, up top, whatnot. Whatever, we've done the dirty work now. Hunt it over the pagey. What? Give you my posh paper? Leaving me with just a local fauna? Should a night your call? Not likely. Although I do like a sporting contest. I propose you take on my target challenge. I'll provide the targets based on my Neanderthal brethren. You shoot the blazes out of them and I'll surrender the pagey what what. Yeah, so we have to just shoot all the targets that are going to show up. We actually do have a first person view. I haven't uh, shown that at all, but we can go on here and fire. Capital shooting. Just a few more. Well, a few more, but let's go here. Two. Crap. Obviously, they start to... Damn it, I'm out. Give me freaking... Let's go. I don't think these have a time limit. So you're probably not going to fail this. Oh, clever girl. There we go. Simple enough. Really, there isn't anything overly difficult in this game. I mean, it's more about the exploring and adventure than it is Dark Souls, <laughs> frankly. Okay, where should we go to next? Huh. Oh, we have Sona. Okay. And what are you supposed to be? 
I am a pagey piece. I got torn up by capital B's enforcers and thrown into this jungle. My other piece has been scratched nearby. Please find my other three pieces and I'll be whole again. You poor thing, don't worry, we'll reunite you with yourself. I thought this was supposed to be a modern game, Yuka. Collectibles used to be coming come in one piece. Oh, that was loud. Okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm only stopping this here for the moment because I need to stop this recording in case this power goes out and I don't want to lose it. So, awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, that was a long rant about Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie and so on and so forth. I hope you look forward to other of my ukulele videos. And uh, it's going to be a fun adventure. See you guys. Tribal Stack Tropics. Um, I actually think we have pretty much everything that we can get in here right now. I think. Um, do, 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 do. You're not going to show me move totals? No. Maybe? Uh, no. Why would you? But I have 96. Okay. I'm going to just double check. I'll meet you back at the entrance because we're going to go to a new world. You're back and alive. It seems that snake chap lost his bet. <laughs> yeah, we hold on. What bet? Those grand tomes can be dangerous places, but it's good you're back. I have something important to share. So now we can officially make the grand tomes bigger. With the amount of pages, if you stand on the pedestal and get a certain amount of pages, you can unlock a vastly bigger world. Which, I actually really like this concept. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it at first. Because, as I was talking about last time, and we're not going to do that just yet. I don't feel like doing it because we'll be back. And, um, I want to get other... What I personally like to do trying to play this game, and just the way that I remember it being set up, is I want to get as many of the moves as early as I can. Okay. Can we light that on fire? Hold up. There we go. So let's spell Pagey in the correct order. And unlock our Pagey. But I like to get as many of the moves because I like to be fully equipped as early as possible so that I don't have to keep jumping back and forth between levels constantly. Uh, it's just, to me, a bit of a time waster. Do I have my... I do have a butt slam. Okay, so we are going to get a quick little upgrade here. If I remember how to get up there. Which is over here. Uh, it might actually be... yeah. Oh. Go up here where we got that first pagey in the game. We're going to head up here. And we are actually going to climb onto his nose. Capital B's nose. Okay, not, not my shining moment. I got to remember how to play this game apparently. But if you slam that and apparently you don't have to get that close, you can upgrade your power bar, which is very useful and you will want to do that. Now, there's also this burning thing, and we have water here. So, as you can imagine, if I can get up there, use the water, use the eggs, put out the fire, get a pagey. So, that's always good. Now, let's go see if we can get to World 2, which, based on the signs, says go this way. And if we actually hit this switch... We open the door for one of what is best known in the Banjo-Kazooie series. Let's play a little game.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Quiz Time featuring Dr. Quack. Welcome, welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Quack. Look, Laylee, this must be Capital B's big henchman. If big was the requirement, this guy doesn't seem to fit the bill. I reckon he'd let us pass if we lobbed him a few breadcrumbs. Silence! I see you've been trespassing illegally inside one of my scientific book worlds. And now you'll pay the penalty with the terrifying Quackfire Quiz. The what? You'll need to provide 10 correct answers in order to survive my awful questions assault. The Samus Aram Bombing Power Hour. Yeah. So, in classic Banjo-Kazooie fashion, we have a game game show to play. You've been reading Yukipedia, haven't you? Go, oh, come on, I got that. That's Oh, Jesus. That was rude. <laughs> yeah, you can abuse it a little bit. Oh crap, oh crap baskets. I have to go for it. Oh, I did it, damn it. I I could have got that. 